Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel and today we're going to be reviewing the Nan movie. The uh, movie that's based on the, the, the comedy show that Catherine Tate did uh, several years back and she's obviously brought it to the big, big screen with her grandson Matthew Horn on the show who plays Jamie. Um, this one, this film was actually so much better. Not just, I knew it was going to be funny but you know, story-wise it was so good. But before we go into that Hit the subscribe button, leave a like if you enjoy what you hear. And if you're a fan of the series and Catherine Tate, let me know down below. Spoilers ahead, of course, and enjoy. So, um, the Nam movie is good because it's comical um, and a lot of heart. I love the flashbacks to the Second World War. Um, you know, Catherine Tate, when it comes to comedy, she is one of the... She just is so good at it. And what I love about this is she technically plays like two different characters. She plays a younger version of her character and the older version, the Nan, who's so funny. But it's funny because at the start of the film, I was at the scene, um, she sort of, she has these neighbours who, um, they're a bit odd, per se. And she, she makes this claim that, they, you know, they, they walk around their apartment naked and it comes true at the end, the end of the film. And that's the last scene and they're all in there being naked. It's like, she says, or I can't lie, oh, what a fucking liberty. It's perfect for this film. Little things that happen at the start of the film, you sort of forget about, and then they come up and be like, oh, my God, that is brilliant writing. Brilliant from Catherine Tate. And I believe this film, you know, you could have easily just gone for this film and just been comedy, 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 comedy. And it was in many sense. I sort of laughed at every single scene in this one. You know, every time she laughed, she kept them, you know... I respect the LGBTQ community, obviously, and I know Catherine Tate and uh, Matthew obviously would. She kept to call it the game mobile that they would drive around and had like a B on it, you know, arts and crafts. Um, it's for people with uh, emotional damage. Great concept. Matthew Horn played a great role in this. I love him, Gavin Stacey. He was a great complimentary character of Catherine Tate's Nan character. I love the Australian rugby lads in this. They were so funny. Um, I, I love how at the end of the film, Basically, they come across this old police officer who, well, she's a traffic warden and she used to work on the council. I, I love how she gets taken out at the end. I love how she tries to jump on the boat. I love how she's trying to chase Nan around the whole entire film um, um, because of just everything that happened in the past between them in the show. Um, I love how they did the connection between that. I loved everything about this. Um, I thought it was really emotional that uh, her sister was dying. <laughs> and one of my favorite parts of this, she was reading this really emotional letter. I'm dying. I want us to reconnect. I wish we could see each other one more time. You can see the sadness in Catherine Tate's face as she goes, fuck off. <laughs> it's just, it was beautifully well timed. Catherine Tate just knew what she was doing with this film. And I hope we get to see more of this character because it's such a laugh. You go for an hour and a half. Yeah, there's a few emotional scenes. Like you go back and obviously she's trying to find a husband. She's very close to the guy, this guy called Walter. And we learn more about why they become so distant. And it's simply because her sister always wants what Nan always wants. Her name's Jeannie, I think. Um, and <laughs> basically, her sister ends up getting with the guy that, that she always wanted to get with. And Joanny. Uh, Joanny is, um, you know, she'll just let things happen. She'll just always want the best in her sister. and. You know, obviously, again, this is um, the reaction from Joni at the end when Walter, you know, she finally meets sort of a sister. We've been through the flashbacks. We've learned why they're separated uh, as friends. And obviously, Joanny being with the guy who sort of, sort of stalked her for years and years and years, always being outside. I get the romantic sense, but he was kind of stalky. But um, when Walter comes down the stairs, you're expecting you know, as she would put it, the perfect life. And the, Walter comes downstairs and he's wearing a dress. And Catherine Tate's reaction is just, there's no reaction. She's just lost for words. She saw this handsome uh, American soldier all these years ago who, you know, when they, when they was doing the flashbacks, they actually were like, okay, yeah, he actually was looking at clothing. He wasn't looking at, you know, um, them in particular, he was looking at the clothes itself, and her reaction when he first sees it is absolutely the reaction anyone would would, would have. You think they're living the life, you think they would always have it better. You always thought her being in her life wasn't as good enough, 
And that scene just was so relatable, so funny. And when they all broke out and laughed, it was truly a very happy scene. To see them rekindle the love and you see the heartbreak that they've been through the entire film, through the flashbacks, and to see them become close again on her last wish um, was very emotional. And all the the time Matthew, Matthew's character, um, Jamie, had been pushing her to go see her, not to go to the day spa, maybe causing a lot more issues than intended, you know, blowing up the farm <laughs> uh, with um, the, the animal rights activist guy. It was a truly amazing film. Um, she went clubbing. As I said, she kept on this guy, Mike, 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 in the other meant murder, murder, murder. And this film is something everyone needs to go watch. As it says on the poster, a coming of age movie, it truly is. We see the Nan character go through everything. We see some, you know, typical rude words. Um, I'm not going to say the words. But it was a great time to watch this. Catherine Tate, Matthew Horn, and the rest of the ensemble cast did a phenomenal job making commentary, sadness, happiness, all blend into one great story. And I've got to admit, this was a fantastic watch that I never anticipated it to be. So for that, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. There was no issues, no boring parts. She dropped urine all over the van. The van was decorated to an um, Australian travel bus as, as though they were rugby players. And, yeah, what could you ask for? More for? A truly, truly good time. Go check out the Nam movie. I don't know where it airs in the world. I know in the UK, it's out in cinemas now. That's where I watched it. So go check it out for yourself. Go check out all the reviews on my channel. I did drop the, the review for X. So go check that out as well. Or it will be going up the same day. And, of course, subscribe so you never miss a video. And leave a like. Take care. Goodbye.